Hey, hey guys. guys, this is our Q&A video. Yeah, we have a bunch of questions that we got from you over the last- Oh, first we should talk about your elbow. Yeah, oh, that's a good- that's a This good isn't a question thing. that anybody asks because you don't even know about it unless you follow us on Instagram, but Patrick broke his elbow. Uh, yeah, I yeah. was uh, <laughs> I was cycling in Canada, I was in a race and I, uh, was going pretty fast and this guy in front of me um, dropped his water bottle and um, just decided to take a quick U-turn to go back and get it without <laughs> looking behind him. So you ran straight into and him. And I ran straight into 30 him, miles 30 hour. miles an hour, flipped over my bike and- uh, Did that. And I broke my elbow. Um, but it's doing fine. He's doing fine. He got a good surgery. Yep. Surgery went well. He's doing all of his My doctors say I'm, I'm crushing recovery. So that's a <laughs> good thing. Hopefully in a few weeks uh, now, uh, we'll be able to record and perform and uh, get fun. back to it. Yeah. Okay. Let's start the questions. Okay. How old were you when you each started playing music? Ah. I was four, four or five. My parents don't remember, but We'll say four. That's why you're so good. I uh, I started when I was <laughs> nine, uh, which is kind of late, but yeah. it worked. And that's why. No, no. You're, no. <laughs> what were you going to say? That's why what? No, you're really good. You're really good. Okay, next. Where did you study? Oh, I, uh, I studied at the Eastman School of Music, which is a conservatory in upstate New York. In Rochester. In Rochester, right? yeah. And I did my bachelor's at the University of Victoria, and then I went to University of BC in Vancouver, and then I went to Juilliard and did a second master's. Ooh, fancy. I'm <laughs> yes, just realizing I'm very how, fancy. how many more degrees that you have than I do. <laughs> it's, it's not about how many. Thank you. <laughs> You're great. Okay, next. How many takes does it take before you get the one? 11. A lot. <laughs> I said a lot. 11. I said 11. No, I think it's 11. I did, like, not always, but like, it always seems to be take 11. It ends up being the really? one that we take. We always take the last take, that's for sure. Like, we, I think it just gets better it and gets better. It gets better and better. We always take the last and, take. And, yeah. then we, and then we're exhausted and mm -hmm. it's like, so we take the last one. But sometimes it takes more than 11. I feel like it's been 20 yeah. several times. But I also feel like a lot of that time is, we're rehearsing. Like we, we, we rehearse kind of as we're yeah. taking takes. So we'll play it through and then we'll be like, hey, you know, I think you should play it this way. Or, you know, maybe you should yeah. take the melody here. and. I don't know why we record it just in case we get, in case we nail it on the first take. Which, which we, never, we never happens. <laughs> um, okay. How did you two meet and begin playing music together? Ah, uh, well, we <laughs> met playing music together, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we... Uh, it we... was at a music, a summer music, chamber music festival yeah. that we were both playing in. Um, and uh, yeah, so we started off uh, meeting each other through playing music together. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we sort of hit it off right away, and... Uh, no, you forgot my name at the beginning. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember that. Yeah, you asked me for it several times. Okay, so it's a, fu <laughs> it's a funny name. I know, but yeah. come on. Anywho, yeah, we started, but we didn't start playing like Brooklyn Duo style things. We didn't start Brooklyn Duo until way later. Yeah. So, like I was finishing school, and then yeah. I went to New World Symphony in Miami, and then I was like, doing other gigs in New York. Um, yeah. You were I was playing doing in your my band. band. And bartending. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then when did we start? And Brooklyn Duo, we started, I think, seven years ago. Yeah. Um, maybe eight now. Yeah. And we'd already been married. I think we were married. And yeah. then we started. Yeah, a few yeah. years after we got married. So we didn't actually play together for a while, which is weird, I guess. Yeah. Um, what style of music do you enjoy playing the most? Ooh. Um, I, I like, well, we do covers because we get to cover all different styles. So I guess I like playing a lot of different styles. Yeah. I think that's <laughs> what's so great yeah. about what we do is we cover everything. Um, so we get to play all different types of music and ultimately we just love playing our instruments and playing together. And I think, uh, you know, it's nice to have some variety. Yeah. We both started with classical. So that. I did only classical. You then moved to more crazy yeah. metal. Yeah, metal I, I got the. 
with I, your band? I got the heavy uh, influence from a young young age. I used to go see these metal concerts in, in New York City <laughs> with buddies of mine who were all guitarists and drummers. And uh, and that was a lot of fun. I love the energy that was captured on those stages. And uh, I think like part of me uh, wanted to be, you know, like kind of a guitarist at, at uh, heart. And so... So maybe that's your favorite style. You kind of like... You like being like a rock star. I just I just love having, you know, a lot of energy and being able to communicate a little bit more with the audience than sometimes you can in classical performances. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, next. Uh, do you play any other instruments? Nope. Nope. <laughs> next question. <laughs> okay, next question. <laughs> what is your favorite part of playing music together? Should we have a quicker answer um, to that? Uh, I was going to say that I get to boss you around a uh, little bit. That's true. You do boss me around quite You a boss bit. me, too. Sometimes. Yeah. It's just easier, like, if you're if you're playing with a stranger or, like, a friend or somebody else who's not your spouse. You have to be kind of polite and tactful when you're rehearsing. But us, yeah. we can just... We can be know. honest. We can be honest, yeah. She can say, you know, you're playing out of tune and I can tell her she's playing out of tune. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next. Um, who are your favorite composers? Uh, hmm. Brahms. Well, that was fast. Yeah. That's a good one. Oh, I want to say Brahms. That's <laughs> no, mine too. Can't. I think mine. I like... Um, I like the class... Like Mozart, Beethoven, the classics. I do like playing those um but i love brahms yeah cool that's it that's we, your only one yeah that, well that's it i only listen to brahms <laughs> okay what's the most memorable part of your musical journey oh that's a good question yeah. um, i okay. i remember when uh we were starting out and i think we were only uh releasing videos for like maybe six months and I was bartending at the time and I was about to start a shift. I'd just come out of oh, the yeah. New York City subway and um, I looked at my phone and I had a bunch of texts and calls from Marnie. And so <laughs> I called her right away and I said, what's, you know, what's going on? I have to go to work. And, and uh, she was like, Taylor Swift just tweeted about us on Twitter. <laughs> and I was like, uh, we don't even have a Twitter account. Like, what are we going to do? So you were like, hurry up, make us a Twitter account. And I said, I don't know how to do that. And yeah. uh, did I figure it out? I must have figured I, it yeah, out. Yeah, so, something happened. But that was just like, I think, a really exciting time for us, you know, just like starting out and having somebody yeah. so famous. Those and awesome. are, I feel like those are always, those are memorable moments. Like we had Shakira, yeah. um, Cher Pearl Jam. or something, Pearl Jam, yeah. Um, Zed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When something like that happens, I think it's. It's just so much it's fun memorable. for us. It's really yeah. exciting. Yeah, memorable. <laughs> okay, if you didn't play music for a living, what would you do? You would be a professional cyclist. Yeah, I would have many more broken bones <laughs> than I do now. Uh, what would you do? I, oh my goodness. I like to bake. I would maybe be a, try to be a baker. Yeah, you make some pretty killer cookies. Mm, do I? You do. <laughs> Uh, okay. Has either of you played a piece that was then used by a popular TV show or movie? Oh. Uh, yes. Yes, yeah. we have. Uh, our first licensing request was for Grey's Anatomy, which was crazy. I was so excited. Um, so we were on that once. And then... Uh, Pretty Little Liars. Pretty Little Liars. And... Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. Yeah, we're a couple licenses for America's Got Talent for when mm -hmm. people like auditioned. Yeah, um, and we have a new one coming up yeah. for Apple TV. Is it a secret? I, maybe, maybe we shouldn't say. We won't say what the show is, but it's a new show and it's yeah. gonna come Should out next year. So that's exciting. Um, have you considered collaborating with other musicians on YouTube? Yes. yes. We have one coming up, an yeah, exciting collaboration. With a certain trio. Uh, <laughs> a certain trio on YouTube. We'll, we'll let you know soon. Yeah. We haven't filmed those videos yet, but hope next year they'll be out for sure. Yeah. Um, we're excited for that. How much time does it take to plan, record, and edit your music videos? Um, a lot of time. <laughs> a lot of time. So we, I would say we could arrange 
a piece in like two days, two or three days, um, if just like sitting on the computer arranging, and then we spend maybe like a few hours together on the arrangement, hashing playing, it, out, hashing yeah. it out and changing it around. So you and, play the melody here, you play mm -hmm. the melody here, and yeah. Yeah, usually it's me saying, I want the melody, give me the melody. <laughs> Poor me. No, they want to hear cello. <laughs> um, um, yeah, and then we record, and we uh, that you know that takes a day probably to rehearse and record all together, uh, and then we have to edit, edit, and then we have to edit the video, and uh, you know mix the and editing. Master. I would say takes the longest, lot, like yeah, editing the time. mixing the audio and whatever we do. Yeah. Um, that takes definitely a full day. Yeah. So but, yeah, it takes it's a, a lot of time. Um. Do you enjoy your job or are there times when it's not as fun? We enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think we're so lucky to do mm -hmm. uh, what we do and uh, do what we love for a living. Definitely. Um, but, it, you know, no job is comes without stress. I think um, there's a lot of pressure on us to, to produce um, as high of quality content as we can. And so there are times... We kind of just put that pressure on ourselves. Yeah, like... I think so. Mm -hmm. But we, we want everything to sound so good or we want it to sound as good as we possibly can mm -hmm. and so there's stress along with that and there's you know some clashing too you know um, no yeah a little bit <laughs> but no we, we we love it we're 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 thankful yeah um how many cellos and pianos do you own and what brands um we only own one piano it's a steinway and model b model b yeah. how many cellos uh, I have two cellos. I have a wood cello, which I've had actually since I was in high school, and I just haven't been able to find an instrument that I connect with better. Um, and I have a carbon fiber cello that is black, so if you've seen that in the videos, um, you'll know that's the one. And it's uh, pretty indestructible, so we can travel with it, and I don't have to worry about temperature changes. And You can um, check it under the plane. You can check it under the plane, as opposed to buying a seat. Yeah. A lot of people ask you what's the brand of your wood cello, but there's no brand, right? No, it's not. No, it's. Uh, in fact, I don't even know who made it. It's an unknown maker, uh, which I think kind of adds to the mystery of the instrument. But it's like, <laughs> it's a copy of a famous cello or yeah, something. Yeah, it's a copy of a, a Montagnana cello, which is a, yeah. kind of a big body cello, which is good for me because I'm also big Thanks. bodied. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. What microphones do you guys use? We use Earthworks. Yeah, yeah. Earthworks. Yeah, they're a, a, a great company that makes super transparent microphones. Uh, and what does that mean? Well, I when I say transparent, I mean that it's it's capturing exactly what you're hearing, which is um, you don't find that a lot in, in microphones. A lot of times, will color uh, things a certain way. But for us, we love the sound of our instruments as they are. We love the sound of cello and piano acoustically. And so if we can capture them the way they are, we feel uh, that's the best way to do it. So we use Earthworks. You um, also use a different one on your cello. Yep, sometimes. on my cello, on my cello specifically, I've, I've used a Neumann M149 for a long time. It's a tube microphone um, and it does color the sound a little bit, but uh, I do just love the way that it sounds with my cello. So between those, uh, you know, options, we, we, uh, we get it done. Yeah. Would you be willing to do live shows? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> We've think done so. a few. Yeah. I, uh, we, we put, put it off because I, we wanted to focus entirely on creating our recordings and our videos and that's given us a lot of time to do it. But um, we love performing and hopefully one day uh, we'll be able to go on tour. Maybe when the kids are I a little older. I think when older. the kids are a little bit older yeah. and they maybe can come with us and we can do a tour in the summer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Hey guys, just wanted to give you a quick update. It's taken us a minute to edit this video and in that time frame, my elbow has gotten so much better. So much so that we're already playing and recording music. Uh, in fact, earlier this week, we filmed a video that we're super excited for. Uh, that's gonna be going live next Friday on YouTube. So we hope to see you there.